you know, remember when the run and shoot was first introduced? Was that Mouse Davis? Like, <laughs> I don't know how the Mariners are going to pitch the whole year, but I, they're going to score a lot of runs. No doubt. And they're scoring a lot of runs again. They already got three runs. So when you look at their lineup, it's a re, it's a redone lineup from last year. Who's the most important bat in this whole thing? Mitch Hanniger. That's, that's his he guy, is, man. You know, he I, loves him some Mitch Hanniger. I am a big Hanager. Mitch Hanniger fan. Of course, he was a first-round draft pick out of Cal of Poly San Luis Obispo here in the great state of California of the Brewers two trades ago. Mm -hmm. But he's become now, guys, a really good hitter against strong pitching. He hits the good pitching. He was an all-star last year. I love the way, Nick, that he covers the plate to both sides. And I want to make one more comment, too, about the general atmosphere around this team. That noise you heard through the TV right there, T-Mobile Park is hopping. Yeah. And I remember Mike Cameron saying to me once that, that was when, when that team was going, early 2000s, it was a block party every night at 7 o'clock. And it's got that feeling again, almost maybe, right. Nick, that 0-1 team where, where it was, yes, you had a Hall of Famer, Edgar Martinez, and a future Hall of Famer, Nietzsche Rowe, but it was a well-balanced lineup. I see the same thing right now. Yeah. There's no doubt. Well, if, if for me, it's got to be the guy that protects your yes. guy, Mitch Hanniger, yes. and I'm gonna gonna go with Domingo Santana. I'm telling you what, six foot five, 220 pounds. This guy is right there in the middle of it. Had a great home run early in the season in Japan to get him off to that hot start. Coming into tonight, he's hitting 349, four homers, and a league leading 19 RBIs. Mm. I'm telling you what, man, you got to remember, two years ago when this guy was with the Milwaukee Brewers, he hit 30 plus home runs. There is something to be said. For that man coming to the ballpark each and every day, feeling comfortable about where they are, where he is, and where he's sitting in that lineup, because right now you're getting the A game out of Domingo. For he's sure. been revitalized, right? To your point, I mean, he was the odd man out. They signed Kane, they signed Yelich. Obviously, they were both great last year, and he didn't have the playing time all the time. Well, he's got it now, and he he's producing. <laughs> we'll keep you updated on that game as the night goes along on MLB Whip Round. It is fun, right? It's the best. And I'm just curious, you know, we're looking at it it's early on. I mean, you know, look, we kind of thought that, you know, in whatever order you want to go, Mets, Phillies, Nationals, yeah. Braves, it's going to be close. I, do you see that changing? Has anything convinced you otherwise a couple weeks into the season? Yeah, nothing's really kind of stood out it, it, other than the fact that it's going to be those four teams, right? I mean, obviously Miami's still kind of working themselves back in that spot. But I think there has to be something that's going to happen for one of those four teams moving forward to get them to win that division. And for me, I think it's a power arm, right? I think it's a number one starter. I think it's a number two starter. Somebody like maybe like a Madison Bumgarner, maybe like a, a Matthew Boyd in Detroit, right? Any, t any one of those four teams that gets one of those guys, in my opinion, that's what puts the, that team at the top. More names there, Stroman and Sanchez in Toronto, potentially the Cleveland guys if they fall out of the if race. That falls apart. Exactly. But to me, the biggest surprise so far, the biggest noteworthy development is I didn't know the Mets were going to be this good. I did not know that their lineup overall. We can't be beat, cheesy beat Alonzo. Over there, right? I, so the, the way that Alonzo has come in, and again, credit to the Mets, Brody Van Wagenen, day one in the big leagues. Alonzo, to me, the power that he brings consistently, I think having Cano there, Nick, with his veteran presence in the lineup and the quality of his at-bats, the bullpen, Familia, what he's been able to do late in the game leading into Diaz in oh, the back end. How filthy is Diaz? He's been excellent. And so, to me, I, I, I give Brody Van Wagenen credit here. He, he comes in, a lot of criticism about the hire there, to have a former agent becoming the GM, but from the immediate first days that he had on the job, it's been action, right. it's been optimism and excitement for this team. The Mets are much better than I expected. You know, I thought you were going to sit here and make a case for Washington Nationals, and then they gave it up tonight, and you just you <laughs> it away. I'm abandoning next. my pick. Oh, did, did it, did, was JP not on the Nationals <laughs> I earlier? Said, I said earlier, I, what I happened? am easily I swayed. Know, KB. I'm dismayed. I, I had the Lightning winning the Stanley Cup. They're down 0-2 now. I've got my, all my predictions, as per usual, are totally disintegrating <laughs> before my eyes. I want to support a winner, and right now that winner is the New York Metropolitan. That's right, baby. He's I want to feel good KB. about myself. He's ready. He's ready. <laughs> JP, you know, I, I like it. I like the energy. Let's go. <laughs>